Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And uh, in this video, we're going to have a quick look at something that has just arrived. I uh, ordered it from eBay a few days ago. Um, can't remember exactly when it was. And uh, so it's just arrived. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's not a game. Nothing to do with gaming. It's to do with the hobby, however. It's this. It's um, an LED head wearing reading time pieces repairing magnifier. Um, it's got a push on your head, it's got a light and it's got magnifying lenses as well. Um, so hopefully it will help me in my uh, painting of the models. Uh, but let's get down to the table and you can have a look uh, what's inside and then we'll go through it and uh, have a play about, shall we? Okay. Okay, so here we have our box let's see what's inside okay so we have a piece of paper with I'm assuming all the instructions on how it's used and how to set it all up and everything um, it takes oh, three AAA batteries for the light as it says there um, and it shows you everything that you need to Need to know. I'm not going through it all in great detail here, but needless to say, I think that will be the battery pack. Um, open that up. Will that be the battery pack? Yep, the batteries are in there. Give me a moment while I go and get some. It's a waste of time doing this without actually making sure it all works, isn't it? <laughs> so we have three AAA batteries. One in there. One in there. Ah. And one in there. And as you can see, it works. <laughs> Straight into the camera lens. So that's the part that fits at the back of your head. Um, where's the off switch there? Okay, so we've got that bit. Uh, now it's oh, that crap didn't sound nice. I'm trying to work out whether. I think it just looks like it's um watch me call it that just moves it from side to side. So I can put it in the middle. Um, I think the cracking is just like a little bit that uh, oh what's the word I'm looking for? It just shows you how, how many times you've adjusted it. And then that's the headset anyway. It's quite good. Stretchy, so it'll go over my big head any day. <laughs> Let's put that to one side and we have here a set of magnifying lenses. It looks quite good, they would fit. Once you are like so. There's a few different ones of those in here. Um, so you've got those two that go over both eyes. And if you want extra precision work over one eye, you would use these kind of things. <laughs> there's that one particular thing there and then you've got these just normal lenses this looks quite an interesting concept as I've never used one before I have been as I said eyeing them up because of having problems with 
worth giving me all right. Here we are. <laughs> oh, I'll turn that off. Now, how it goes is that we have these magnifiers and we can place them in these clips provided and whoa I can get really up close and personal with this that is now in focus there oh I suppose there's different ones or the different ones are different different strengths of magnification I don't know what those different strengths would be how different it would make it from going from the front to the back well that doesn't look too magnified let's have a look again that just really reminds me of my reading glasses as they are now so that's the weak one this I suppose would be stronger stronger magnification oh yes yes definitely because now these are perfectly in focus for me and I can get going this is great and hopefully as I'm painting I will be able to um, shine this light you're all blurred, this does no. <laughs> I don't like this, that's gonna get really spooky for me. Um yeah, so it's worked. So fingers crossed, this is going to be a big help in my videos. Um for painting. Uh, not just for me videos but uh this lamp here. Um not just for me videos but uh, painting in general. So um fingers crossed it works well <laughs> okay so that's enough from me i will see you soon with more videos but until then as always take care god bless and bye for now